A World War II Veterans Memorial is coming to Bakersfield. Eyewitness News reporter David Kaplan has the reason a nonprofit is trying to make this happen as soon as possible. David? It said they saved the world and is the reason they're called the greatest generation. And now they'll be memorial, uh, memorialized in Bakersfield. Wednesday, the Bakersfield City Council approved the construction of a World War II memorial at Jastrow Park on Truxton Avenue in Bakersfield. It's going to be a, a memorial that honors Kern County's greatest generation, especially the 683 men and one woman that laid down their lives uh, in World War II from Kern County for our freedom. The Kern County World War II Veterans Memorial nonprofit will pay the estimated half a million dollars. The city will maintain the memorial. We need to get this built as soon as possible because we even have a Kern County World War II veteran on our board, uh, Walter Granger, who's 95 years old. They're all in their 90s or 100s. The memorial will be paid for by public, private, and corporate donations. On the front Front of the five black granite, nine foot tall, four foot wide um, columns that you see will be the 684 names of Kern County World War II veterans that died in service to our country. Ed Gady, president of the Kern County World War II Veterans Memorial Nonprofit, says there will also be information on the memorial on how Kern County was instrumental in supporting the war effort and an educational timeline of the war. On the back of those black granite slabs, we're offering to the public the ability to sponsor uh, Kern County World War II veteran living or deceased for $250 to help pay the cost of engraving their names on this memorial. The Kern County World War II Veterans Memorial Nonprofit is in the planning and fundraising stages now. Construction will start next year and they hope to have a dedication of the memorial next year on Veterans Day. To get more information on how to make a donation to the memorial, you can go to our website, bakersfieldnow.com. In studio, David Kaplan, Eyewitness News. Is there a story you think we should investigate? Call our Eyewitness News tip line at 869-2929.